Hey, it's Monday, um, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm trying Dream World, which I never had before. Um, professional review. I like the packaging. Mm -hmm. um, the nose is nice. It's almost like, is it like mango? I have no idea what, what's in it. Is I it saw that at Walmart and I picked it up and I haven't even tried it yet. So you're the first. First person ever on the planet. It's true. Oh. Yeah, it's like a mango. Um, I'm getting hints of mango and mango. Um, Double mango? Ooh, bold move, Coke. Um, I'm assuming it tastes mostly like Coca-Cola because uh, it's coca-cola yeah i mean it's like i want to say like 50 50. 50 percent coke 50 percent mango mm -hmm. interesting mango is the common thing people say i think it's mango like uh dip, 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 dip. i think mouse going actually no it's it's just it doesn't say natural flavors. It doesn't say what flavors. Natural mango flavors. What is the uh, ingredients list? Yeah, that's what I'm... Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, caramel color, natural flavors. <laughs> that's listed as an ingredient. Yeah, it's not... Just trust us. It's natural. <laughs> Shut up. Natural. Um, I, I like it. I, I might get it like maybe in the summertime or something like that. Yeah. Like once every once in a while, but like... I mean, it's good. Now everyone must try the dream. It's called Dream World, dream right? Dream World. And it's it, it's dream flavored. Ooh. I like that here. Okay. Here, take that. Yeah, I mean, it's like, would you say it's like 50-50 now? It's like, oh, that smells like mango hardcore. 50% yeah. mango, yeah. That smells very much like mango. Yeah, that's why I was getting double mango. <laughs> oh, that's better than Coke. It tastes like mango coke. Dan is correct. I wish I would not have started eating this before trying oh, this. Sorry. But it's it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it smells like mango and it tastes like mango. Yeah, it's not really what I want out of Coke. Yeah. Sure. Oh, I like it. I think it tastes better than Coca-Cola. Really? Yeah. But I like raspberry coke. I also don't like Coca-Cola. <laughs> well, yeah. It's it, it's the it's the burning sensation for me afterwards. Like it's fine. Like I think I like cherry coke more than regular coke. I don't know. Well, you, did is, you see we have cheer, cheer wine in the fridge? Yeah. Yeah. It's, we it's got good. some of that. I'm usually a Pepsi man, not like the other Pepsi man. Not like the hero. superhero. Yeah. yeah. Pepsi man. There's also a surprise today, and that surprise is Josh Jepson. Yay! Which is funny because you're standing in about the same spot where, like, ten days ago, you also surprised. I also have a sense for banana bread. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, just breads we in general. Well, yeah, it's just breads in general, yeah. Here yeah. you go. Thank yeah. you, yeah. Bye. This is the only reason why I can't. See ya. Get back oh. in your car. Okay, great. See you guys. Josh also <laughs> is visiting because Josh has not had a chance to see um, Dan and Brandon and Alex and Haley. So yeah. like now, he can. Yeah. And then also us. I mean, you can see us again. I haven't seen Alex and Haley in, in much longer than you guys and Dan. Yeah. Because you guys and Dan were at TRG Coliseum oh, 2019, wow. but I have not seen Alex and Haley since probably PAX, whenever the yep. last time they went to PAX. Or when oh you went God. to their place to go to E3? E3, yeah, that would have been oh the last my time. God. Yeah. That's yeah. a long time Which ago. Which is like, when was that? Who knows? <laughs> what year? like 12 hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well, probably well, more, more than 12. 20. Yeah, 20 some. Anyway, uh, so we'll get a chance to see Haley <laughs> in a little bit. Alex will be here tomorrow, but at least we'll get a chance to see him again. So that's good. <laughs> Haley made, uh, honestly, quite a bit. We've eaten a lot, so now it looks like there's not as much here, but that's because we ate it. It was there you a, go, it look. Was in a, uh, so, so the thing is, is people are like, eh, chicanery, but really it's just adult Lunchables. I mean, it is. Um, it tastes better than a Lunchable, Much which better. is good. Um, yeah. I realized I didn't have toothpicks, but I had flossers, so we've been using them as our toothpicks to eat it, the it, it did work, so I think it was fine. 
And I did finally get some mustard so we can put it on everything. Yeah. Including... Only if Alex know. was here. If only Alex was here to put it. On Including everything. tortilla chips. This is not a tortilla oh. chip. <laughs> it's a pita chip. It's a whole different thing. But, the, but, but here, 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 here. We got, I got you. Does Laika like mustard? Uh, Laika likes a lot of things. Oh, wow. Except she hates fruit. Oh. She hates fruit. She thinks that cabbage is the best thing ever. She loves her collard greens because she's a little southern dog. But you give her a blueberry and she's like... <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? After we hung out uh, at Haley's place for a little bit and ate some charcuterie, we decided, uh, or at least some of us decided, to go get some food at Alpaca. And um, actually, of everyone, me and you were the only ones that had it for because we took... Alex. We had, we, yeah, we had taken Alex. So what would you all think of Alpaca? It was good. It's... Um, I haven't eaten Alpaca before. It was pretty good. Yeah. Well, you couldn't have eaten it. Because it's a Raleigh chain. I like the spicy. No. Oh, well, you're saying you I ate an alpaca. I have Sorry, I alpaca before. <laughs> the joke was I lost on me so briefly. I was like, well, you couldn't have eaten an alpaca, Josh. <laughs> they don't have alpacas anywhere but Raleigh. Uh, yeah, it's good. It's good. Now, now I'm wondering if there's a place you can actually eat an alpaca. Probably. I don't think those are allowed to be advertised. Yeah, they they seem cute. Yeah, I wouldn't. I actually wouldn't eat They're alpaca. Really I, I, would, I would pet one. I actually, I was asking when we went up to alpaca. I was like, do they have an alpaca for me to pet? They didn't. I was. There was one alpaca. on the wall, like not a real one. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> But like a photo, a photo of one. I should really clarify better. There's a photo of an alpaca. A alpaca. The first thing that I saw when I saw it, I was like, "Oh look, a llama!" And then I thought about it for a second. I was like, "It's probably an alpaca because that's alpaca the name of the place." Faces. They do. Like, and llamas have like. How do you know so much about it? I don't think I recognize the difference that they well. have. Alpacas. There was, was there's this farm that I drove past a lot. Well, I didn't personally because I was in the car with my mom because I was young. But when I was a kid in Maine, there was this farm that had both alpacas and llamas, mm -hmm. and I was a, a big fan of driving past that place and seeing the, the fuzzy, cute things. There was a place out in the country, <laughs> and where, no, we're not going to eat them, Brent. <laughs> there was a place out in the country uh, that we would drive past very, very rarely, and they had a zebra. What? Like a, like a zebra just like in their... Like the yard. What? I don't think it's allowed. How do they get a zebra? South Carolina, South Carolina has really <laughs> lax... That's true. Um, they, ...animal keeping laws. They tighten them up eventually. That's why Tiger King was set... I mean, it's, you know, a documentary show. Yeah. But it's in South Carolina. Well, for, for, for the longest time, the laws were really bad. And, like, you just have, like, a tiger to babysit your chimpanzee or whatever but like now it's changed but you're grandfathered in so if you had like monkeys or tigers or whatever you're allowed to keep them but you no one no one else can get like it's, a new one it's a spinoff zebra queen <laughs> that zebra was i bet that zebra's dead by now it was a long time there ago there was a place in wisconsin that always had goats on the roof and it had grass and so the goats would eat the grass oh, that's but cool. they like lived on the roof surely the zebras live like, like 20 years right kind of. I have no idea, but, right? but we will show it on screen here. Uh, zebra facts. The zebra facts. Chaz is, uh, <laughs> you know, light is going off and Steven's trying to come up with more work. It's not more work. It's just, it's just going to Wikipedia and finding out how long they live. And then it making that the vlog title. So everyone's like, why is this about zebras? And then they click it and then they watch the entirety and then they get to the very end of the vlog and they're like, oh. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow there will be more things. Uh, everyone is still in town. And Alex will be back as well. So we'll probably all do a dinner or something. So. Zebras live yeah. approximately 20 years. Wow, you nailed that. Yeah. In the wild, uh, up to 40 years. Or sorry, in, sorry, in zoos, up to 40 years. So. <laughs> I was like, what are we doing to zebras? Other way around, other way around. In the wild, 40 years. But when we get a hold of them, we have those suckers. <laughs> I sleep. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?